What time is it? It's Packard Books at Dawn. Hat? Check. Shirt? Check. Pants? Optional. Mug? Double check. Check us out at cafepress.com slash Packard Books at where you can get all this great merchandise and more. Do you like Packard Pokes at and want to hear it on demand and on the go? Download the free app today at Stitcher.com. Available on iOS, Android, Nook, and iPad. This is Packard Pokes at and I'm poking at your news. Your news. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another fine edition of Packard Pokes at. I am your immutable and unmutable host, Packard Sonic. And joining me from the far west coast is Connie, Practical Magic 9. Ohana means family. No gets up behind. One of my favorite movie quotes. Hello, everybody. The Google Hangouts kind of screwed you up. What, what was the quote again? I'm sorry. Oh, Ohana. Ohana means family. Nobody gets left behind. I, oh, okay. It's just on my mind today. Yeah, well, today there's a lot of people's minds are on that, I imagine, with everything that's going on. But we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. <laughs> and joining us from the Far East Coast is the Atheist Ranger hurting his cats. Hey, what's up? And joining us from the ill that is Illinois is Matt, not a believer, 71. Hello, everybody. We got a lot to talk about tonight. The fact that we're going to have to try to fit this into about 30 minutes, I don't know if we're going to do it. We might have to do a sequel of this one with everything that's going on. But tonight's topic of our OK Let's Talk is Transgender Wars 2, Back to the Past. OK, let's talk. Trump has come out in the last few days, just uh, this last Wednesday of uh, July 26th, saying that in a tweet, because he thinks that laws are written by tweet. Trump, you're an idiot. You don't write laws or policy by tweet. The fact is he came out and said, hey, uh, transgender people are not allowed to be in the military and the transgender will not be added to the military and you're not going to be able to be signed up for that, which is wholly incorrect. And the fact is he said he went and talked to his advisors Military advisors that he would normally be talking to came out and said, you know what? We never talked to you. We've never, huh. we've never had this uh, conversation. Really? Shocking. General, jo General Joseph Dunford, yeah, uh, made a post, uh, made, a, made a video, and he said, uh, yeah, uh, the tweet is not a directive, and until we get further stuff, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> we well, haven't received. A law has to be passed for that to happen, though, right? Yeah, this has to go through the Congress, and it has to have a uh, a lot other stuff has to happen right before that it, that ever gets anywhere near that. Well, I think um, even that the the president didn't uh, write an official uh, piece of paper and submit it to the the uh, Department of Ju you know a defense the DOD. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead, Anthony Stranger. Though. No, I was gonna say. I mean, even if he first of all, I mean, like Packard said, I mean, writing a tweet isn't a directive it's not like black you know it's not like a solid thing he, like he would have to mm -hmm. submit it to at least one one uh the i believe the legislative branch and i ha highly doubt they're going to uphold it yeah they're not going to uphold this and the, and the and the fact is that trump is coming out and say this and and the thing is because uh, there are a lot of republicans in office who are fucking bigoted as fuck they have come out and said oh it's about time the president said this because reasons and one of his reasons is completely bogus. He says that we just don't have the money to help these people. All right. The thing is here, there is about 1,500 people in the military. Our huge ass military, which is ranges in the tens of thousands, I'm sure, has 1,500 people roughly of military people who are transgender it, it does not make any sense and the thing is here that this just came out today actually or a couple days ago here now this is from an article here from uh, uh the daily beast it says as soon as josh block saw president trump's tweet pledging to ban transgender troops in serving in the u.s military he did some tweeting of his own in preparation for a lawsuit to stop trump Locke, an attorney at the american civil liberties union asked trans service members active or reserved to contact him his tweet got over 16,500 retweets within 12 hours my inbox is overflowing with messages from trans service members who serve openly with no problem he told the daily beast that says a lot right there yes. that's a, a whole shit ton right there and if i may add to this uh cost argument that he's doing um i think he was referring to like let's say if there's a chance in the military who wants to go through either the surgery or just even just to get hormones 
that's what they're referring to, just to give a little context. Yes. Which is yeah. also bullshit, and here's yeah. why. I was watching a Kyle Kolinsky video, I think yesterday, about this. He was giving out the stats. Um, now, as I think all three of us know, we spend 54% of our income on the military. That is ridiculous, but that's a discussion for another time. Guess how much, like for the achievements for change, and guess how much that costs out of that 54%? Very little, I imagine. No, 0.3%. Yeah. And, and this Jack is saying it's going to cost too It's It's costing too much right now. Yeah. Actually, I've got another article on this. It says the policy would only affect a small portion of approximately 1.3 million I said tens of thousands. I w it's 1.3 million active members of the military. Some 2,000 to 11,000 active troops are transgender. I was off about, I, I thought there was, I, I read somewhere else it was about 1,500, but it said, I was not far off. It said between 2,000 and 11,000 are actively transgender, mm -hmm. according to the RAND Corporation study commission signed by the Pentagon. Through estimates of the numbers, transgender service members have varied widely and sometimes as high as 15,000. I just want to get my numbers correct there. A study allowing that transgender people to serve openly in the military would have minimal impact on readiness and healthcare costs. The estimated that healthcare costs could rise 2.4 million to 8.4 million a year, representing the infinitesimal 0 0.04 to 0. 0.3 one three percent increase in spending oh my god 0. 0.004 to 0. 0.013 percent we spend billions on fucking airplanes that don't fucking fly i never flew and never flown yeah. i've never flown so well yeah and they're sitting in airplane hangars collecting dust yeah exactly you got to realize <laughs> that these are all scare tactics that they're doing oh yeah absolutely and they don't know they don't collect they're, dust. They're trying they, to actually hire, they actually hire somebody to go out and dust them I'm just saying, you know. Oh, I'm sure they do, but I'm I'm not just talking about the airplanes. I'm talking about everything. All this whole thing about, oh, it's gonna, you know, this transgender thing in the military is gonna cause this or it's gonna cause that. You know, it's all bullshit, scare tactics. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, no. I'm gonna make you believe it, so you so you'll be for it. Now, Lieutenant Commander Drake Drenneman, a Navy Supply Corps officer who is transgender, found out that his job is in danger when he turned on CNN on Wednesday morning. Commander Drenneman came out as transgender to his commanders in 2015. They had said that they have been supportive of him. That's very telling right there. Now, he refused to criticize Mr. Trump. He says, we don't criticize our commander in chief. Okay, I'm going to stop him right there for a minute. Because when Obama was in office, there were people in the military who were openly criticizing him. Just because of the fact is that he was black. And that was their biggest contention. So, yeah, you do have a tendency to say that kind of shit to them. But anyway, he goes on. He said the policy shift is singling out a specific population in the military who have been assured that we are doing everything appropriate to continue our honorable service. I actually had a conversation with somebody else online on a Google Plus, hang on, a Google Plus uh, feed, and he said he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't go into the military at all. Because he basically said, well, I'm a coward. And I'm like, that's your position. That's fine. I have no problem with that. I wouldn't do it because I have personal reasons I wouldn't go in the military either. Right now, I'm too old to go in the military, thankfully. <laughs> Me too. But the thing is, though, there are people who are transgender who have to deal with a lot of shit. And they are willing to go into the military. And I give them props for that. If you want to go into the military... That's on you. I wouldn't do it. That's just not for me. That's just not how I want to live my life. You know, when Clinton was president and he wouldn't allow gays in the military, you know, the don't ask, don't tell. Yeah. I mean, how many people were in the closet before all that happened? Yeah, exactly. In the military. And there's probably still people right now in the closet that oh, are yeah. in the military. Yeah. And, and by the way, the only, this is just so stupid because the only thing that should matter to people, both on the left and the right, is whether or not, and it's not just transgender, whether or not these people can do the fucking work to get into the military. They can do the push-ups and they can go through the exercises and they can pass all the classes. Let them the fuck in. That's the only thing that should matter to you is that they are mentally and physically fit. That's the only thing that should matter when it comes to joining the military. If the only thing that, yeah, if the only thing that matters is your patriotism and you're wanting to serve the country and be... Uh, you know, better yourself physically and be strong like that. Uh, that's all that should matter. I made yeah. a mistake today of commenting on Facebook on a uh, 
recent relatives post about how, you know, there's a lot of people who aren't fit for the military service. Uh, people with flat feet, people, you know, who are missing limbs, blah, blah, blah. And they don't get to be in the military. And I said, well, what does somebody's sexual orientation have to do with that? And one of his friends posted and said, well, you obviously have never been in the military. And I said, well, excuse me, but I've had a son and a son-in-law and my who were in the military, two sons-in-law, ex now, and my father served in Korea. So uh, yeah, you know what? And I, I realized I'm not going to argue with these people but well the other thing is is that i saw somebody who uh is transgender and he's in the uh, national guard and uh, you talk about support yeah his seals and everybody they're very supportive of this person and he was saying that his he's actually transitioning mm -hmm. paying for it themselves and yet not everybody who is transgender wants to transition that's the other thing but the you see the the right whether it's christian whether it's just homophobes or whatever it is the ideology of transgenderism and i'm like is that a thing and i think it's I, as far as i can tell it's like it stems from the idea that transgender people are mentally ill yeah and that's not it's, a it's, a, it's, a, it's a psychosis yeah, so it, yeah it's not a thing and now i i just want to bring into context here that there are other countries out there that have transgender military personnel in them israel being one of them and they don't have a problem of any kind with transgender people being in their military now this is from a country that is very religious to begin with i mean everybody out there is jewish or muslim and in israel of course uh, again is jewish predominantly and the fact is that they don't have a problem with this they don't have a problem with this i give religion and all religions a lot of crap but the fact is that on this they got it right they got it fucking right on the nose there's no problem it's like oh you're transgender well that's fine can you serve yeah Okay, there you go. And over and over in Israel, military service is not voluntary like it is here. It's compulsory. Mm -hmm. You have to serve if you, unless you're studying your religion for reasons, or you're going to be a priest or something. You have to go in. Period. And there's no end for women. There's no option to get out unless you're like yeah, you're missing like arms and legs and shit. Well. But think about it, like in Saudi Arabia and all those m Muslim countries. You know, homosexual. If they find out you're gay. They'll kill your ass. Yeah. So I'm sure they don't allow transgendered people, even if they have any. Yeah. And the, the thing is, though, this is part of the, one of the tweets that Trump said. He said, victory cannot be burdened with tremendous medical costs and disruption of that transgender and transgenders in the military would entail. Thank you. Fuck you, Trump. Everybody is saying this, too. I'm not the only one to say when he says thank you, I'm saying fuck you. So is uh, uh, so is a lot of other people right now. And the fact is that the costs and i'm gonna bring this up again because it's very important the cost is not true it's not a, this is this is not a thing this is not a thing it's minuscule it's incredibly it's minuscule. Fantastic. the military medical spends more on viagra than it does a way 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 more the little purple pill yep yeah in fact they even spend more on people who you know come back from war and have uh, P -P uh ptsd they spend more on that. Yeah. Which is another tragedy. I I can't believe that. I just find it really, really awful that, you know, a lot for a lot of people, their option because our education system fails people is to enter the military and put their lives at risk just to be able to make a living, get training, all that. I, I, uh, that's another story, though. Yeah. Now, um, on your point there about the, the per little purple pill here, Viagra has spent $41.6 million in 2014 on erectile dysfunction drugs. Or about five times what the transgender military service would cost, according to an estimate Thank from you. the military times. So we just want to put a, you know, little put a pin on that. So we can just say that the fact is this is not a thing. Some conservatives that they said they support Trump. Vicki Hartis, Republican from Missouri, said in Wednesday in a statement that the sex change surgeries would cost more than a billion dollars over the next 10 years. She didn't, of course, cite a source for her estimate. Billions of dollars. Billions? Really? You think this is going to be billions? Where where are you coming up with these numbers, you stupid cunt? And where are they coming up with this whole thing is going to cost them money? Exactly. It's not costing you a damn thing. You know why? Because you fuckers find a way not to pay your fucking taxes. Right. And I, 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 am, I am happy to pay my taxes to support somebody that's going through this. I have no problem with that. Well, it speaks more to the fact that we need to uh, reboot and rethink the whole ins uh, medical insurance system 
and mm-hmm. uh, things like that. And I watched a video today where on uh, Fox News, Tucker Carlson interviewing uh, Dr. Michelle Cretella, who's a pediatrician, quote unquote. Uh, mm-hmm. She talked about the child uh, transgender ideology and how that equals child abuse because we don't have long-term studies to understand transgenderism and i'm going exactly because you just assume because because she makes the assumptions that well you know we already know that in the womb male and female uh, sexuality and identity is already established and transgenderism is just a mental illness no guess what your premise is flawed and you and be, we don't have enough studies because people have not because not because there haven't been studies but because we've only just recently entertained the idea that there might be more genders than just male and female and nobody's taken the time to explore that notion while we are poking at your news you can poke us at facebook and twitter or poke us with an email at ppa podcast at gmail.com or leave us a message at 662-709-PPAP. Join us live on YouTube slash Packard Pokeset on Friday nights at 9 p.m. Central Time. Be part of the conversation by live chatting with us during the show. Enjoy the show? Help support us by becoming a monthly patron at patreon.com slash Packard Pokeset. Or look awesome by buying something at CafePress.com slash Packard Pokeset. No money, no problem. You can help us by sharing the show with friends and rate us on iTunes and Stitcher. For everyone that shares and rates us, you kick ass. The Atheists. The Bible. And No Wardrobe, the podcast. Wait a minute. No wardrobe? You mean we're going to be naked while we do this? Well, seeing how I'm an atheist and I'm reading the Bible and since clothes are flammable... Fire! 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 I thought it might be a good idea to take them all off first. (laughs) Naked or not, follow along as we read, analyze, and try to keep you from falling asleep as we go through this boring-ass book. Find us on iTunes, Stitcher, and Spreaker. Who knows? We may even be on YouTube someday. I'm sorry, I was going to say, and by the way, the, the studies that I personally have read at least uh, have at least proven that when it comes to transgendered people, their brains are hardwired against the opposite sex they are in. You may yeah. be born male, but, you know, something goes on in the brain to where the brain thinks it's female. Yeah. Awesome. I Thank you. I Because, again, I, I think that's I think that's extremely arrogant of these people who... You know, just I mean, I, and by, by the way, let me be yeah. very clear, and I'm not trying to be mean. As far as I know, it may, I, it's not a mental illness, but as far as I know, it's transgenderism is still classified as a mental disorder. It shouldn't I, be. It shouldn't I, be. I, I, I agree. It shouldn't be. I'm just letting everyone know right. just to give a little clarity. Yeah, no, I was going to say that for a long time, for a long time, that people who were gay had the same problem. They said it was labeled as a mental disorder. And yes. eventually it took some time and some study and it said and they finally determined that this is not a mental disorder this it's not it's just not so the fact is that we need to change this this thinking on this we need it does need more study obviously and proper study not from somebody who's got god flying up their asshole and that thinks that hey gay people are icky well that's none of your goddamn business it doesn't matter you know and psychology it's not a hard science like say uh, I'm going to build a keyboard because I'm, uh, for example, I, if I press a key, this thing happens. You know that that's a solid science. Okay, that's that's an engineering. That's a solid science. Psychology is not a solid science. It's a lot of guesswork. Now I, I'm going to go back to this about where Trump never talked to his policy advisors. It says here when Trump, the reality show tycoon, turned GOP. Now this comes from Mother Jones. Appeared on Meet the Press Sunday with host Chuck Todd asked him, who do you talk to for military advice right now? At first, Trump had no direct answer. He replied, well, I watch the shows. I mean, I really see a lot of great, you know, when you watch your show and all of the other shows and you have the generals and you have certain people that you like who just got out the dressing for the word salad I just had to read. Holy shit. Todd apparently pressed him. He says, there is a go to for you. 
Trump said that he had two or three go-to advisors. He named John Bolton for one of his most hawkish neoconservatives and retired Army Colonel Jake Jacobs, who is a military and analyst for N MSNBC and NBC News. Colonel Jack Jacobs is a good guy, said Trump, and I see him on occasion. There's one problem with Trump citing Jacobs as a national security advisor. Jacobs said he never talked to Trump about military policy, probably ever. Now, I, I'm not going to disparage Jacobs, who's received two medals of honor and two silver stars and three bronze stars and two purple hearts for his service in Nam. Notes that he has attended numerous charity events where Trump was present. I've seen him at a number of functions, he said, but Jacobs adds that he has had no discussions with Trump about national security affairs at any of those events or anywhere else. He's a liar. He's lying. I don't understand why these Trump tards out there who think that, hey, Trump is obviously telling the truth. He's lying to you. The number one person on his list that is, is Jeff Sessions, and he was the first Republican to endorse Trump. And he threw Sessions under the goddamn bus. Do you honestly think that he would stand up for you? Really? No. If he's the, the number one person that was there for him right away, being thrown under the bus is not is not a good indication he's going to stand up or next to anybody. You know the people who will stand up for? His kids. That's it. And his right. to the max. Yes. You know, I don't, no, I don't even think... Trump is Trump even is religious. religious. I, I'm sure he's not because I think he's just doing not. it just to uh, you know please the the religious tards. Oh yeah, just make sure just to make him look good so they would you know they can give him money to his campaign and, and do all these things for them. So all it does is get him get him elected again mm -hmm. and other Republicans are reelected. Yeah, I, I'll give you an example of why I, I agree with your statement that he's not religious because he was citing something, uh, a chapter and verse. He goes, two Corinthians. No, 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 no. It's not two Corinthians. It's second Corinthians, you stupid motherfucker. I'm not religious, and I fucking know that. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> There are some books in the Bible I can't correctly pronounce, and, and I really don't fucking care because it's stupid shit. It makes no sense. That's why you have me. That's why I have Connie to pronounce <laughs> that shit correctly. <laughs> and that's why we are atheists. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> there's a reason for it, guys. Yeah, there's a reason for that. I, I don't believe the Bible to begin with, but all right, that's... that's oh, neither do I. Yeah, that's another story down the road here. But the fact is that that the Trump is making policy over tweet. This has to stop. This it's like whatever he says goes. Yeah, he that's what he thinks. He <laughs> thinks like, that whatever he says. No, it can't happen that way, man. Come on. It can't. No, it doesn't happen that way. It, it can't happen that way. Oh, we have checks and balances, bitch. Yeah, I, I understand executive orders, and that's one thing. But even that can get shot down, and where it has it on, on account of him. Yeah, and, and the White House is in so much disarray. He just fired his communications director for the mooch who made very wild accusations about everybody that's in the goddamn white house he said that steve bannon sucks his own cock he says i'm he basically said that he, he said and it was on a quote wow yeah man and, has talent. and he accused reince priebus of leaking classified information about him which is publicly available based on public records and he said he was going to contact the fbi via tweet and then later on he said he took it down and said hey i didn't mean that but then turns around and says yeah i actually did i actually thought that reince priebus did a thing and i was going to have him charged with the fbi or some shit like i i this whole administration, it's seven months into it, and this shit is just amazing. Oh, it, it's definitely interesting. Less than a year. Yeah. All the crap that he's done since he started. Seven I, years? I, oh, seven months, I meant. Oh, no, no I said seven. It feels like seven well, years. Yeah, but, yeah, it feels but like in the years. seven months that he's been doing, you know, he's been president, I don't think any president has caused so much shit. I have as never. As long as I've been alive, all, yeah. all the stuff that he's done in so little time, I, I don't know if any other president there, there was a presidency. I can't remember which one it was off the top of my head. It was a long before I was born, but I remember hearing about this or reading about it somewhere. There was one president we had. If you gave him money or you were nice to him or you gave him a steak dinner or some bullshit like that, he basically said, "Oh well, I'm gonna. Ju I'll just put you in my cabinet now." 
he would just swap out people in his cabinet left and right for no fucking reason. No, no real good reason. Oh, wow. This is happening again with the, this whole process here. He got Rice Priebus to... Prius, yeah. Prius, Pre yeah. Priebus, Priebus, Priebus yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, Priebus, Prius. Prius, yeah. 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 He's, a car. <laughs> he's, he's running down, he's driving down the road away from this right now. <laughs> you know, yeah. I, you know what? I swear, okay, I swear, I swear, I swear that I, all I can think of is Jurassic Park. And how the T-Rex roars to find out where the prey is, you know, and that's what Trump does. He just sits there and he stomps around to elicit a response. And we should all be saying what what's going on while he's doing this shit. Yeah. He's just, it's 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 crazy. This is craziness. And it, the White House staff started out pretty sketchy and it's getting sketchier and sketchier this scalania whatever his name sorry whatever his name is mm -hmm. oh my god he's he, he's one of the worst things i've seen and like you said you know uh no uh, this is this is a nightmare this is an absolute nightmare yeah it is. I, i'm only 26 years old and i can say hands down that donald trump will be the worst president of my lifetime. I, I think the, I think he's going to be the worst president who in our in our country's history. Let's just hope that he's not the last president over this crap. Oh yeah, I, I'm hoping so too. I did want to add something here that one of the military personnel came out recently and said, I think it was just today, that there is no ban on people who want to serve in the military who are transgender you can still sign up. You can still get in there if you want to, and you are still allowed to serve. This, I believe, this came from General Dunford. Yeah, yes. Said, yeah, General Dunford. Gen General Dunford said that he that these people can that transgender people can still serve if they want to until an executive order comes down or something else happens. There is no way and nothing to prevent you from serving in the military. So if you're transgender and you want to serve this fucked up nation, you're more than welcome to at this point. He says, in the meantime, we will continue to treat all our personnel with respect. He said in a letter, Dana White, the chief Pentagon spokesman said in defense department that they would provide detailed guidance for the, in the near future, quote unquote, on how Mr. Trump's tweets will be turned into policy. The open-ended nature of their comments reflected the challenge facing the Pentagon. How do we put in place a policy that was announced without a plan to do so? That's another thing right there. Trump thinks that I can just see a thing on Twitter and it just happens. This is not like when he had his own business or he actually still has them, but in business, you say a thing, that thing happens. This, this isn't the, what The Apprentice. That was yeah. his stupid fucking reality show that I never watched because I think it was stupid You're fired. And, and lame. Yeah, yeah, he thinks he can write a memo. Shit on you. You know what? And actually, I I highlighted this general's name, General Joseph Dunford, because I'm like, sir, I salute you. I, yep. I think that's awesome because that's a true military. They're all about chain of command. And he said, yeah, I didn't get an actual thing. And I don't and I don't even know that I, I would hope that he would uh, fight something if it came down. I, now, I wonder I, if Trump is going to fire him for saying that. Oh, yeah. I, can he? He can't. He, 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 he can't. There's just the well, Trump but he's the commander. He is the commander in chief. He could yeah. he could potentially let go. Yeah, somebody. Well, I don't know what he could do about that. To be honest with you, I don't know if he could fire people like that in the military. It, it takes. Sure. It, I'm not yeah. sure if he can or not. Well, yeah, he's hmm. commander in chief, so I suppose he probably could, but it's it's sketchy at this point uh, there would have to be uh some really hard ground for that to happen yeah all right well we are at the end of our half hour unfortunately uh so we're gonna get our last few moments of comments here matt last thoughts on this whole situation uh this whole situation is ridiculous the title here says it best where we just keep going back to the past we, we can't move forward on stuff like this yeah i agree as far and as long as this is going to continue, we're just going to keep going forward in reverse. Yeah, I understand that. Atheist Ranger, what are your last thoughts on this? No, nah, just like I said earlier, I mean, the only thing that should matter to people is whether or not these people can actually do the fucking work to get in. And in my honest opinion, I at this point, I don't see why anyone in the LGBT at this point in time would even want to serve a country that's not even going to fight for you right here at home. That's excellent. That's actually excellent. Yeah. Connie, what are your last thoughts on this? Well, POTUS doesn't understand policy, doesn't understand anything. And I don't know. I just, I have to wonder what's happening behind the scenes. 
that we're being distracted with this shit. I'm tired of the the tail wagging the dog. Yeah, I completely agree. My final thoughts on this is that the fact is the president should be removed. He should be impeached because he is not only making our country look incredibly bad to the rest of the world. The fact is he is going after transgender people to distract us from something else, like Connie was saying. That there's something else going on. And, and the fact is that the even though the uh, Russia stuff didn't come up tonight, which is another topic for another day, the fact is that this is all starting to come to a head there. I think some of that is he's using this as a distraction method to distract us away from that stuff. I'm going to take what he says with a grain of salt because the fact is that he is an idiot. Trump, you're an idiot. You're a fucktard. You need to re be removed from office. You should leave on your own if you don't want to lose face. But if we need to remove you forcibly by impeachment, it's going to happen. And then the Trump name is going to be, it's not that it's not tainted now, but it's going to be tainted from here on forever, forever. And I hope it does. That's it for me anyway. We'll be back on Wednesday and we are approaching our 500th show and we were doing some calculations. So we are actually when we get a little bit closer to our 500 show, we're actually going to skip a midweek show so we can actually have our 500 show on a Friday night. So we will announce that as soon as I get my calculations back in my head, because I know Connie's got it written. I have it right here. You want oh, me to read it? Yes. Yes. Read it. <laughs> okay. On August 16th, there will be no midweek show. We will only have our meeting. Yes. And then on Friday, August 18th, will be the 500th show where we have a big shift, a big change. Yeah, we got, we're having some changes. Some changes are coming down the pike. But we fear change, don't we? I don't fear change. I embrace change. Yes. <laughs> Jump out of that airplane without a parachute. Right, exactly. <laughs> I embrace change. Unless it's coming from a vending machine, then you don't get change. So. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be pay telephones used to be in that that same joke but we don't have pay telephones anymore so anyway <laughs> <laughs> all right we will see you on wednesday this has been packer pokes at with okay let's talk and that's a wrap <laughs>